Once upon a time, there was an explorer that flew around the world in a big balloon. His name was Bertrand Picard. Out of the 3.7 tons of liquid propane, we had 40 kilos left. At the landing of the round the world balloon flight, I made the promise that the next time I would fly around the world, it would be with no fuel, no fossil energy anymore. The explorer was very smart. He wanted to make an airplane that could fly without gas, but he needed some help. So he called his friend André Borchberg, a great pilot and a very good businessman. Design was done in 2006, constructions the following year, uh, with the first test in 2009 and of course the flight test in 2010, uh, when we demonstrated that we can fly day and night with a solar-powered airplane. Together, André and Bertrand invented an amazing airplane named HVSIA that would fly with the sun to carry a message to the world. An airplane can fly with no fuel at all. It can load its batteries during the day with solar energy, use the batteries at night to reach the next sunrise and continue the next day, and maybe continue so many days and nights that it can even travel one day around the world. With the help of some scientist friends, Bertrand and André made their special airplane, very light but very strong. They were extra careful when they put each piece of the airplane together. On the top of the wings is where the solar panels are placed. They had to make motors that were strong enough to carry the airplane over big mountains. But what's for sure is that the technology we use in this airplane can be now used on ground to reduce our energy consumption. It shows that with energy savings and renewable energies, we can achieve things that are incredible, almost impossible. The world you leave behind will be a better place if we use clean energy today. This airplane becomes a symbol, the ambassador for this kind of vision. If a kid can understand how important it is to take care of our planet, you grown-ups must know, right? <laughs>